Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. Ignore my hair, it's really muggy and humid in Tallahassee and I'm just, I'm over it. We are talking about the internet this week and boy oh boy. I think we've all had our forays with the internet at one point or another. I know that I myself have met some of the most amazing people and some of the most non-amazing people on the internet. <laughs> I don't know, I guess like, internet has completely changed life on this planet. Remember whenever we were in like elementary school, maybe some of you guys don't remember this, but like we had to learn how to look up stuff in an, an encyclopedia and how to use like a card catalog and how to like really use a library. I mean imagine like, uh, imagine doing that now instead of like Google searching something. I mean, can you, like that's just like, internet is, is an absolute must. It's almost like oxygen at this point. We have to have it, you know. And I'm sure we've all had our forays with pornography. I've been caught on four separate occasions combining my mom and my dad together because like both of them caught me and I don't think either of them told the other that they found it and whatever. Just awkward. Alright, well I'm gonna cut this one short because I have to help my roommate move out right now. But um, I really appreciate the internet because it brings me to you guys and allows me to share my thoughts and allows you guys to comment on the thoughts that I have to share. Uh, specifically, I want to know how many times you guys have been caught looking at porn. Everyone has been caught looking at porn. I mean, okay, I mean, I'm generalizing, but I'm just saying that because like a lot of people, uh, most of my friends have always have been caught looking at porn at some point or another. You know, Ben, it was good seeing you and your friends on Monday. I love you, and I I like you having I like having you as Mondays because you just like bullshit some kind of video, and I love that you're just like fuck. I'm gonna do whatever I want to. Jordan, I hope that you're having a great time in Seattle so far. A lot of people that I know that have been to Seattle say that it's a great city and they want to like go back and stay at some point. Isn't that where Starbucks started? I don't and aren't don't a lot of people commit suicide there? Like I don't I don't know anything about it except for like the needle suicide rate and Starbucks. What else is there to know, right? Chris, more importantly, Chris's roommate, you know I love you. And Chris Murphy, can't wait to see you tomorrow. You're gonna have something funny to say and you're gonna look hot and show off your arms and make me drool. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short because I have to go help my roommate move. So I will talk to you peeps later by, oh wait, no, one of you guys need to send me the intro because I don't have the intro anymore. Okay, bye.